everybody, it's Dan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be turning a classic Christmas cookie into one scrumptious Valentine's Day cookie. This recipe is gonna whip up a batch of super soft and buttery cookies that melt in your mouth and are gonna be full of flavor. Of course, if you're not a fan of strawberries, you can throw in your favorite kind of compote or jam. If you're not a fan of heart shape, you can use any cookie cutter that you have. Either way, you're gonna enjoy these, you're gonna enjoy these delicious cookies. I know you are, they're so good. I'll be sure to throw a link to the recipe down below in the description where I'll share all my tips and tricks so you can bake these cookies with confidence every single time. Plus, be sure to stay tuned at the end of the video for more information about the KitchenAid Stand Mixer giveaway. Now I say we go ahead and get started on these delicious cookies because I'm holding it, I wanna bite it, but we gotta make more cookies first. So let's go ahead and start with our dry ingredients. Grab a mixing bowl and add in three cups of all-purpose flour, three cups of almond flour, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of ground cloves. Then we're just gonna whisk those together real quick until all those dry ingredients and those subtle spices are mixed into both flours. Now we're just gonna set that aside and get started by mixing together our butter and our sugar. I'm gonna be using a stand mixer today, but if you want, you can just use a bowl with your hand mixer or you can be old school and classic and mix it together with your hands. Either way, these cookies are still gonna melt in your mouth and they're gonna be delicious on every single bite. But anyway, we're gonna grab our bowl and add in two sticks of butter at room temperature. Follow that up with one cup of white granulated sugar and mix on a medium, medium high speed for about three to four minutes until both of your butter and your sugar are fully incorporated together and they are both light and fluffy. Once you reach maximum fluffiness, we wanna go ahead and follow this butter and sugar up with four teaspoons of vanilla and two eggs at room temperature. And then just continue to beat and mix these ingredients together until they are combined. Once those are incorporated, let's add in our dry ingredient mixture. And continue to mix and beat until everything is just incorporated. Once you're done mixing, it's gonna be time for the chill. So let's grab our mixture of our cookie dough, dump it on top of some plastic wrap, and wrap tightly. Then we're gonna take our tightly wrapped cookie dough and let it chill in the fridge for at least two hours. It's a very wet and sticky dough, so the longer you have the chill, it's probably gonna be better, especially if you're using kind of delicate cookie shapes. This way, you wanna make sure that those cookies really hold their shape when you're cutting them, when you're putting them in the oven. Or if you're in a hurry and you just want some delicious melt in your mouth cookies, toss in the freezer for about a half hour to 45 minutes. It'll work out just the same. <laughs> Once your cookie dough is chilled in the fridge for two hours or in the freezer for a quick 45 minutes, you're ready to roll it out. So grab your rolling pin, a lightly floured surface, and roll to about an eighth of an inch thickness. Again, you might find that your cookie dough is still a little wet or sticky. If that is, don't worry about it. Just gently use your rolling pin to flatten that dough. Maybe give another sprinkle of flour, but not too, too much, because you really don't want these cookies to flake.
Once your cookie dough is rolled out to that one eighth of an inch thickness, you're ready to go in with your cookie cutters. Now, because it is Valentine's Day, I am gonna be using heart-shaped cookie cutters, but if you wanna use stars, or if you wanna use circles, or squares, any cookie cutter shape you have, go ahead and use them. I would just make sure that you have two different sizes of the same cookie cutter. Either way, start using your bigger cookie cutter and start punching out your shaped cookies and transfer those to your parchment lined cookie sheet. Now my favorite tip, especially to minimize any sort of misshape that might happen when you're transferring your cookies from your rolling mat to your cookie sheet, is to just move them all to your cookie sheet, take your smaller cookie cutter, and just punch out your smaller shapes right on your cookie tray. This way you don't have to worry about moving your cookies or reshaping them with that dough again being wet and sticky. And this way you just have a nice clean shape. Once you have your cookies loaded on your cookie sheet, about an inch apart, it's time to bake. So pop these in the oven and let these cookies bake for about eight to nine minutes at 375 degrees. Once your cookies have baked and cooled, you're pretty much almost done. All we have left to do now is we're gonna take our bigger cookie without the cutout and we're gonna grab some of our strawberry compote, grab a little tiny knife or a spoon, and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna spread this onto the cookie. I don't like going too far out to the edges because when you place that cookie on top, it is gonna spread out a little bit. So try not to, try not to spread out too, too much. But we'll just get a little bit of that spread in. Perfect. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I can't wait. <laughs> These are pretty much one of my favorite cookies. Next to chocolate chip. Good, there we go. A nice nice healthy amount of strawberry compote. Oh, so good. Now let's take our other cookie, our cookie topper with our smaller heart shape cut out of it. We're gonna place it on top. Try to line it up a little bit. Don't worry if it's not perfect though. These cookies are gonna be delicious either way. And there we go. We have our Linzer heart shaped cookies, perfect for Valentine's Day. With that nice little peekaboo of strawberry compote. All we have left to do now is to dust this with our powdered sugar. After you give that nice little dusting of powdered sugar, that's it, you're done. You've baked and conquered classic Linzer cookies in a heart shape, because they're great for Valentine's Day, or just any shape. I don't know your cookie cutters, but you'll have to show me on Instagram. But that's it, you're, you're done. These You are ready to grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea, and enjoy your cookies. You can share them or you can just enjoy them. I'm gonna enjoy them. Well, thank you all for stopping by. I had so much fun showing you how to make the classic Linzer cookie in celebration of Valentine's Day. If you're a fan of cookies or if you're a fan of Valentine's Day or if you're not a fan of Valentine's Day, either way, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It lets me know what bacon and recipes you all like, you enjoy, and you wanna see more of. And if you want even more delicious recipes that are simple and you can bake with confidence every single time, definitely be sure to subscribe down below and turn on the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Like even more delicious Valentine's Day desserts that you can share for that special someone or keep it yourself. I'm all about that self-love. <laughs> Plus, I still have 19 KitchenAid sandwiches to give away. So if you haven't already, be sure to enter down below. Once you enter the giveaway, you'll have 19 chances to win and lots and lots of ways to enter. Lastly, don't forget, if you whip up your own batch of Windsor cookies, or if you're whipping up something extra for Valentine's Day, definitely give a tag on Instagram. You know, let me see what you're baking up in your kitchen. Alrighty, where well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab my cookies, a cup of coffee, enjoy the day, enjoy the weather. I hope you all get to do the same. And as always, I will see you on the next video very, very soon. Bye. You're so good.